course, it's the holiday season, and for a lot of us, that means holiday parties over the next few weeks. If you're looking for something fun and delicious to bring, we have just the thing for you. Joining us this morning, Alex Bazzi with Cantoro Italian Market and Trattoria. Thank you for coming in My again. My pleasure. Thanks for having it's me back. It's lovely to have you. Oh, so we have some some ideas here. Mm -hmm. Let's let's start with what's going on with this pot. We're going to talk about mulled wine. Uh, okay. Mulled wine is a, a great uh, great thing to have in the wintertime, cold yeah. weather. Uh, simply take a little bit of wine, add in some fresh herbs, bring it to a boil, but not overcooking it. Uh -huh. Strain everything back out, and then we'll serve it out of here into a cup that has more of the ingredients right inside. Oh, nice! It's a Beautiful thing. presentation. Absolutely. It's nice to have something warm and and festive. Absolutely, it's <laughs> right? A, it's, a, it's a great alternative to coffee after after dinner. Yeah. And also makes your house smell better than any scented candle ever could do. That's so. a very good point. All right, so what do we have to do here? We're going to start with some wine. I like to use Rapasso. Rapasso is an Italian wine. It has flavors of sort of like um, you know stewing fruits like prunes, figs, and raisins. Okay. So it's a great base wine to start with. Okay. We're going to dump these right inside without splashing ourselves. So are those kinds of fruitier based wines something that you like to go with or you can just do this with any wine? You can do whatever you want. Yeah. The, the cool thing about this is it's flexible. Okay. You can change it, adapt it, use whatever you like. I've sort of modified a couple different recipes to get okay. it to where I like it. And then next we're going to put in um, eight ounces of port wine. Why don't you okay. pour that right, right in. here. Yep. I use a vintage port. You can use whatever you like. And All then right. I use four ounces of cognac, but a regular brandy will certainly work as well. It's a little cheaper. Okay. And keep in mind, too, for a non-alcoholic version of this or a kid's version, just use apple cider. Everything else applies. There you go. Yeah. There you Next, go. Next, we're going to dump in some fresh cranberries. And these are actually local. These are sourced from Sheboygan and available nice. in the market. We'll plop those right in there. They have a nice little fruit element to them. Next, some golden raisins from California. Give it a little sweetness. A little sweetness. Absolutely. And then the herbs. I like to use uh, two cloves of, or two full sticks of cinnamon. Okay. And then I use some juniper berries, just because. Just because. I had them laying around. <laughs> uh, three star anise. Oh, star anise. It's and then one whole nutmeg. Oh, wonderful. And then the last thing is I take an orange peel, kind of spiral slice it. Okay. And then stud it with fresh oh, cloves. cloves. And you get that on camera. It's a real fun way to do it. Look at that. That's beautiful. And this adds all the aromatics, all the aromas are going to really make your house smell great. Such beautiful additions yeah, to this. Absolutely. I think you can really, really highlight this. So how long will this stay what together? What I do like is this? I like to cook this on medium to high, mm -hmm. uh, just to get the wine boiling, and then turn it down to low. You don't want to overcook it, or uh, the herbs will be over extracted and get really kind of a bitter flavor. Got it. So okay. 15, 20 minutes, uh, bring it to a nice boil, then turn it off. I strain everything back out and pour it into either a crock pot works really well at home, yeah. or I brought this vessel along; it's easier to administer. Okay, let's 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 give it a so shot inside here. Inside the cup, and do what we'll do is we'll add some more of the same things: orange oh, peel, a little nice. bit of cranberries. Okay. And. And there you have it. And after you make this, I mean, how long before, I mean, you should consume it by, by when? <laughs> well, this is a small batch, so two yeah. bottles of wine make about eight to ten servings. You can double it if you like. Okay. Um, it'll last. I, I made this batch actually last night, then cooled it back down. So you can make it ahead of time and then okay. just put it in the crock pots. It's very convenient. And then ladle it out. Mm, that is really, really it nice. Smells like, it smells like fall. Cheers. Sorry, I waited to cheers, and then I was like, okay, I'm just going just gonna to take a sip. It really does. It's really comforting, and the aromatics are really simple. Well, it's easy to make, and you can adapt it. Any kind of things you have laying around work just fine. Nice, and I want to make sure everyone knows what else you can find at your market. Well, all, all these... All the things on the table here, the panettone is a very um, traditional uh, yeah. Italian. I'm about to dig into they, that. <laughs> the Italians love it around Christmas time, also yeah. around Easter time. Uh, very, very nice. We have several different styles and versions available in the market. I brought along a few for you to see. Okay. Um, the items here are actually made in the bakery. So nice. we make our house-made biscotti. I brought the almond flavor. Oh, beautiful. The middle one there are Katie's new pumpkin cookies. These are fantastic. She just put those in the case a few weeks ago. They're selling really, really well. And then last is my favorite thing in the bakery case are the amaretti cookies. These are soft in the middle, a little bit uh, hard on the outside, and nice sugar on top. And all three of these items work really well with both the mulled wine and the next thing we're going to talk about, which is the Riva salts. Oh, which is just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to do that. We are running out of time. Okay. I just want to mention where your locations are, too. Sure. Uh, we have, uh, our, my, I work out of the one in, in, in Plymouth, which is on Haggerty Road, okay. just north of Five Mile. 
We have a small market on the, uh, in Livonia on Middle Belt and Seven Mile. Okay. And the newest uh, addition is our restaurant in Troy, which is on Big Beaver, just east of Crooks. Wonderful. And tell us again what this is real quick. So We're Reba Salt a... is uh, the category of wine. Is this is it's called a, a Vin du Naturel. Okay. They're made in the south of France. Um, very special occasion wine. These are about $125 a bottle, but perfect for Christmas. And they have just amazing uh, flavors of apricot and honeycomb and cinnamon. It's really, really comforting. Thank you so much for coming Ooh, in. For and we'll have the recipe back. on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section. Chris, I'll save you a, I say I'll save you a cup.